Now I'd like to discuss with you main differences between Russian technology and Western technology. So between PWR reactors and VVR reactors. Just to excite your attention, I will show you the table from the Nuclear Technology Review published in 2007 by the International Atomic Agency. And this table gives uh, general characteristics of many reactors. And in the bottom, you can see comparison of PWR, Western type, and VVR, Russian type. You see fuel material, uranium oxide in both reactors, so no difference. Fuel cladding. In Western type reactor, they call it zircaloy. In Russian type reactor, they call it E110, E635, so some uh, technological terminology is coming. But from the physical viewpoint, you should understand physics is the same in Western countries and in Russia, the same. Uranium, structural materials, neutrons are the same, they have no nationality. So you can see the small difference here in the materials of fuel rod cladding. Another point, typical assembly arrangement. In Western type, they have a square array. In Russia, they have a hexagonal array. In the arrangement, again the same. They pointed out here in this table that up to 4.95% enrichment in Western type reactors and in Russian type, the same. So the difference between two technology is in the choice and selection of structural materials. And I will give you the sketch of these differences. This slide shows the specific of fuel pellet. In Russian type of reactor, we have a central hole in the fuel pellet. In Western type, they don't have this. What does it mean? Why Russians need hole in the fuel pellet? The point is very easy to explain. When swelling of the fuel pellet occurs, some pressure moves fuel material inside the pellet. So fuel pellet plays a role of stabilizer of the swelling from the one point of view. And another point, since maximum of the temperature in the fuel pellet is in the center, during the unfavorable transient condition in the reactor, the probability of fuel melting for Russian type fuel is less than for Western type. So again, the reason is very simple. Russians, from the very beginning of developing their technology, they were focused on safety. You remember that uh, fuel burn-up is the most important characteristic effect in the economics. From the viewpoint of uh, fuel burn-up, pressurized water reactors are more preferable. They have a higher level of uh, fuel burn-up. In Russian reactors, fuel burn-up is less. But why less? I explained to you. We have the less fuel in fuel pellet. We have a hole in the fuel pellet that reduces the fuel mass as a consequence, uh, reduces the fuel burn-up, but increases the safety characteristics. So safety and economics always like two entities we have to wait out very carefully. Russians focused on the fuel safety from the very beginning. This slide is another illustration of the main difference between Western types and Russian types. Square arrangement of the fuel element on the right side of the slide and hexagonal arrangement. Russian type with the picture, clear picture of the fuel pellet with hole inside on the left side. That is main visual difference. What about specific of fuel cladding? Both pressurized water reactors and VVR, they have a main basic camp component in the fuel uh, coating uh, structure. That is zirconium. Zirconium is a material with a very low neutron capture. So zirconium is a basic component, either zircaloy, coating for pressurized water reactor or Russian types of alloys. But this is a result of experimental 
investigations about corrosion. That is not Russian data, by the way. That is uh, data published in American journals, and they clearly stated that the test results demonstrated that zirconium niobium alloy in PVR reactors is more resistant to oxidation than zircaloy in PWR. What does it mean? It means after spent fuel taken from reactor and put in some condition in order to uh, cool, usually they put it in the so-called cooling uh, pool near the reactor that is in water. So what it means, we have to be careful with the purity of, of the water in terms of corrosion. And from the viewpoint of uh, resistance to corrosion, the Russian type of reactors are more preferable. So arrangement of the technological measures to manage with the spent fuel in Russian type of reactors look more optimistic, especially for potential newcomer countries. Another interesting slide shows a sketch or summary of the main differences of the fuel and evolution of Russian type of fuel. They have done uh, three major steps in evolution of Russian fuel assemblies, clearly shown here. You can see the TVSA that is recently developed by Afrikantov uh, OKBM company. They have uh, more uh, fuel inside the fuel element. It means they have more fuel inside the fuel assembly. And the more fuel you have, the more fuel burn-up is. So step by step, Russian technology, especially fuel fabrication technology, approaches the high values of fuel burn-up. And uh, in this slide, you see that the recent characteristic of fuel burn-up are at the level of 68 megawatt days per kilogram of fuel inside the element. So it's rather good characteristics and Russian fuel manufacturers are very proud of that. Another interesting point in comparison Russian and Western technology is the reactor vessel. In this slide, we summarized parameters of fuel vessel of various design, AP-1000, VVR-1200, that is IS-2006, APR-1400 and APR-1600. You see they have a different weight, different mass, different height, but what's important, that is specific weight. And specific weight, specific weight, specific weight, it means mass of material divided by installed uh, power capacity that is highest for Russian design. Of course, that is a manifestation of Russian material science, which is at the high level. Uh, but also, that is technological necessity for Russia to, to, to achieve this kind of characteristics, because in Western countries, usually, they construct nuclear power plants on the seashore. And transportation of reactor vessel to the place of construction is by sea. And in this case, it's not so restriction uh, paid to the reactor size. In Russia, different story. We have a nuclear power plant inland. We don't have a high population density uh, on the shore. So we have to transport reactor vessel by railroads. And by uh, trains, by railroads, we have a limitation. That's why Russian scientists concentrated on the high quality of materials for reactor vessel and achieved this kind of results, the highest specific characteristics in terms of material arrangement for reactor vessel. Another distinguishing point for VVR technology is the arrangement of steam generators. You see here in this slide the layouts of EPR reactor, APR reactor, and VVR. It is clear seen from these uh, pictures, from these figures, that Russian steam generators, they have a horizontal arrangement. In Western time, they are vertical. From the viewpoint of neutronics, or from the viewpoint of physics, it's nothing. But from the viewpoint of technology, that made a big difference. 
you see the results of statistics about all the nuclear power plants with PVR and VVR installed and connected to the green between 1969 and 1975. So that is the oldest nuclear power plants with VVR and PWR type of reactors. And what's important, the majority of nuclear power plants suffered from the very expensive operation of a replacement of steam generators. Steam generators are the very vulnerable element of reactor nuclear power generation. So the majority of nuclear power plants replaced steam generator, except no Voronezh nuclear power plant in Russia, never. Also some Western type of reactors, like uh, in Netherlands, they succeeded the same reactor performance. But the results are qualitatively clear. Russian steam generators, from the viewpoint of replacement, are preferable uh, compared to pressurized water reactors. So, the main distinguishing features between VVR and PWR technology are summarized in this slide as follows. Fuel element cladding, more resistant to oxidation in VVR technology. Central hole in the fuel pellet makes fuel pellet more stable during beyond designed accidents. Hexagonal fuel assemblies arrangement leads to uniformity of neutronics parameters and material for reactor pressure vessel low specific weight from the viewpoint of transformation is more preferable and horizontal steam generators leads to larger coolant inventory better natural circulation and very good economical characteristics so that's main distinguishing points between two reactors and in addition to that I would like to mention that the first in the world core catcher, that is a special equipment to control severe accident, was installed in Russian type of nuclear power plant, which was built in China. So the equipment for localization of corium has been developed to ensure safety control in case of severe accidents. Currently, many countries consider core catcher as an absolutely inevitable element to ensure safety performance of nuclear power plant, but first one was installed at Russian design nuclear power plant.